If you're new here, I shoot every single home game for the Chicago Bears, and this week we're breaking down my photos from the Thursday night football game against the Commanders. A good thing to note is that if you like how I laid everything out during this video and you want to know how I do it, I released a tutorial about how I actually created these templates so you can go ahead and do the same thing in Photoshop. Photo one, this one is of Justin Fields. Not only is it of him, it's during the national anthem. Now, I got a similar one that was during the daytime game whenever the flyover was supposed to go over top of him. It didn't. This time, night game, we got fireworks. My buddy John, who I shoot with, he shoots video, I shoot photo. We actually tag team this one and we knew that there were two sets of fireworks going on. So he got video for the first set of fireworks and then right between the two, he tapped me on the shoulder, was like, yo, get over here, get over here. Look at this 360 cam footage actually. It's hilarious. So you see me on the side briefly over there and then he taps me, tells me to come over. I go between the two trainers legs and I get this photo. It is money. Now you notice that there's text inside of the photo. Why did I cut out a little bit of the photo to put the two teams names and the date? Well, that's my style for these NFL photos. And I also wanted to show that it was vertical. I love the vertical format, but I wanted the text to be in the same spot as the other games. Pretty money if you ask me. So now this one is during warmups. We got Carson Wentz and Justin Fields. Carson Wentz was warming up and I actually just went over with my camera, kind of hung out by where his coach was hanging out so I'd blend in and I got a couple intimate shots. As you probably noticed, this photo looks different than the game time ones. It's because I was using a wide lens and I was actually right up on there. Using a wide lens close up looks different than the same frame shot from way back with the 400 millimeter. The other one is with Justin Fields. Justin Fields during warmups did the same thing, walked up to him with my wide lens as he was warming up in the end zone. Easy way to get access, got right behind him, pretty much as close as I could so I could shoot it at 24 millimeter and got his entire body in frame. Great warm up shots right here and I also love that it was at night but it wasn't whenever the sun was totally down so you still get detail in the sky for both shots. Now we're going to the commander slide. Up top we see Carson Wentz leading the huddle calling a play. I love this because it's just the team nobody else around and the night game made it look that much cooler. You got the crowd in the back that's clearly super separated you can barely even make out what it is and then you got the team in the foreground framed perfectly with the border on the right and the left. The other shot is of Curtis Samuel, a wide receiver for the Commanders. I just loved how this looked whenever I was right down the line of scrimmage and I could shoot through the wide receiver in front of me with the wide receiver behind him not in focus either. So we got one in the foreground, then we got him in focus in the middle, and then we got a wide receiver in the background out of focus. Really nice way to create depth both in the foreground and the background. Now this one, I was hesitant about posting. I really liked these shots, but they weren't really much to do with the game. Now the top one, you see it is a crazy Bears fanatic. I love the outfit, I had to get the shot, and it looked that much more epic because it was a nighttime game. I think it is just fire with the tones that ended up coming out of it. And then on the bottom, the fireworks. I just loved the wide fireworks with the stands and the lights in the bottom. It just was framed up perfectly, so I had to use it, and where else better than whenever I'm showing the fans. This one, no players, but we got the fans and we got the stadium. Gotta show the other elements too. Terry McLaurin. This is a guy that I knew was gonna put up some numbers during this game. Well, I at least thought so. He's the best wide receiver on the team. So up top, we got a tighter shot of Terry McLaurin. On the bottom, we got a wider shot or just a further away shot. Not necessarily a wider lens, but he was just further away, so he's smaller in frame. Two shots of one of the best players I knew I was going to want, and the teams also wanted the photos of him, so it's a win-win. Justin Fields has been running the ball like crazy, and this is actually being recorded after they just beat the Patriots, which they killed it. Let's hope they carry that on. But we all know that he can run, 
So this slide is pretty much all about that. The top one was whenever he got a first down and he had a little celebration where he pointed his fingers in the direction. I loved that shot and really I was just tracking him. He ended up doing the celebration and I was there perfectly to get it. The other shot is him breaking a tackle or getting tackled. Not really sure, but that's kind of the beautiful thing about shooting photo instead of video. You can get really nice photos in times that aren't necessarily the biggest highlighted plays video there has to be a big play there has to be a big run big touchdown for it to really look good but with the photo i just freeze a moment and who even knows what happened this slide was an important one for this game you want to capture those moments that actually mean something to the game and not just whenever big things happen this is brian robinson jr and if you know anything about him he actually got shot in the leg and had to miss the first couple of games but he was back and this was his first career touchdown i was intimate right there with that 400 millimeter and it was just tight it was him having this moment of celebration after his first career touchdown just dialed in it was money and they also ended up using this photo which is always the cherry on top next up we got on the top justin fields with his big run at the end of the game whenever we really thought maybe they would have a chance of pulling out a touchdown to win this game we all know it didn't happen, but you can see him right between the defenders, breaking a big run for what I believe was like 30, 40 yards. And just, I was in a perfect spot with my 400 millimeter lens once again to get him breaking this big run open and capturing him cutting back from one side to the other. And then the next one is Roquan Smith making a tackle in the middle. I love how he stretched all the way out here, arms all the way out to make the tackle. This one just captures one of those moments where you realize these guys are truly freak athletes. And then on the bottom, we have David Montgomery shooting a hole, just perfect framing. And I was really far downfield. If I had to guess, they were probably around the 50 yard line. So I was pretty far down, but I got the nice framing once again with the defenders on either side and him in the hole. I find that running backs are really hard to shoot because a lot of the times they're running up the gut. There's so many players around, so it's hard to isolate the photos on them. But if you're down the field or if you can see laterally down the field and find them whenever they hit a hole, it can actually end up being a really great shot. Shout out John for that tip. Now the last one, shots that I wanted to use that didn't end up being very, very relevant. Up top, this is Darnell Mooney, the last play of the game whenever he made this catch and ended up getting stopped on the one yard line for a turnover on downs. This could have been the game winning touchdown. If it was the game winning touchdown, I think I might have had the shot of the night, but I also love how it turned out. You see the crowd in the back and it was with my 24 to 70 shot pretty wide because I wanted to capture everything. If it was on the 400 millimeter here, it would really just be tight on his hands and you wouldn't be able to get any kind of feeling for what was going on. In this case, you can see him, the defender, the whole sidelines, and then the fans in the back. I like how it turned out. And then we got Darnell Mooney running out of the tunnel. I really liked this one and, and it really looked good wide as well, but I ended up cropping it vertically so I could include more photos. And I think it really still holds the beauty of the photo whenever you crop it. Then we got Darnell Mooney running deep for a catch. He didn't end up catching it, which is why this photo is not really that relevant. But the beautiful thing about shooting photos during these games is you don't really know what happened during the photos. Now, you can critique me all you want, but this is a nice photo that will kind of be timeless after a while. You won't remember exactly what happened on this play. And then the last photo was Justin Fields calling an audible. Really love seeing the interaction there. I think I've had one of these every game. Just really love seeing him line up, very intense, very competitive. Just a great moment to capture whenever not much was happening. Now that's it. Those are my photos from the first night game of the season. I think this might be the only night game that I'm shooting this season, but I wish there was more. I think it's really fun to shoot these night games. It's just totally different. If you like these videos, throw it a thumbs up and throw me a subscription. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. Help me out with that. Anyways, I will see you next week and I release a short every single day as well. Peace out.